so here in Guangzhou, I uh, met a whole bunch of interesting people, and I was giving a presentation in my my English style, and I had uh, the the good fortune of hearing a, uh, a white guy just like me speaking amazing Chinese. So I had to ask him a few questions about how he learned Chinese and and how he studied it in college. So um, let's see what he has to say. Hi, my name is Patrick Kutor. Um, I'm from originally, originally from Massachusetts, but I'm based in Beijing right now. In Beijing, and um, you, what did you major in in college? Uh, my major in college was actually philosophy, of all things. Philosophy, and where did you go to school originally? What, how did you, where did you go to your undergraduate degree? I went to Boston University originally, um, and then after that, I transferred to University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Why did you transfer? I transferred because I wasn't satisfied with the degree. Um, the philosophy degree program at Boston University and also because I wanted to do a Chinese uh, major and Boston University at the time only had a minor. I only had a minor. So um, would, have had, would it have been helpful to have some more information about what a philosophy degree would be and or what, uh, what programs had Chinese or would it have not have made any difference because you discovered things while you were an undergraduate? I discovered most things when I was an undergraduate. When I was a high school senior, I really didn't have a clear idea what I wanted to major in mm. uh, because I kind of liked everything I was studying. And so I figured philosophy would be, be the right match for someone like me. Uh -huh. So Chinese, how did you get interested in Chinese? <laughs> uh, well, that's actually a long story. The short answer is that when I was younger, I, uh, fifth grade I think, I went on a field trip to the Art Museum in Boston. And I saw some Song Dynasty paintings, which uh, really caught my interest. And then after that, I was um, in love with Chinese culture. So it kind of got under your skin. Yeah. How long? How long did it take, really, Patrick? I mean, Chinese is a really tough language. Everybody knows this, but how long did it take for you to develop solid proficiency in Chinese? Well, I studied four years at university, and two of that was language intensive. Uh -huh. But I would say. Um, I picked up the language really after I got to China, studying abroad for a year at Fudan University. And then uh, uh, after graduating from, from the university, I came to China. I also worked for uh, quite a while. Being immersed in the environment helps pick up the language quite fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say to somebody who is in high school or, you know, or maybe considering Chinese? Wh um, what advice do you have for someone who's just starting to pick up the language? Don't be discouraged. Um, it's going to be tough at the very beginning because the language is completely different from English. Um, but stick with it and it'll get a lot easier. So, um, and is it worth it spending some time in China rather than spending time in the classroom? Yes. Language by its nature is hands-on. You have to be out in the environment using it. 